first of all, thanks everybody for attending, and I, I hope that uh, you find this class uh, educational and helpful. Uh, just so you understand what we're going to be doing today, this is sort of a basic spaceship explosion class. And by basic, I mean we're just going to we're going to touch on some of the the core essentials to making um, an explosion for film or television. Uh, and we're also, as part of this, in addition, uh, going to do something that's completely done in Lightwave. Uh, so there's no no extra image maps. There's no um, outside compositing. Everything here is done right in Lightwave in the camera as one pass. Um, Usually when you start to do, you know, the, the more advanced uh, uh, special effects work, you will we'll break things out into elements. But since this is a beginning class, I wanted to get everybody familiar with some of the concepts and have stuff that they can get up and running with really quick without any other programs. So, uh, well, to start off with, I mean, we're doing a spaceship explosion. And, you know, this is, this is not, some of you may know my work, know I've worked with Battlestar Galactica, and this is not a Battlestar uh, uh, model mainly because we don't have the rights for those. So I made something that's completely license-free. Uh, we do this regularly because a lot of times if you have a, if you have a spaceship that, that's moving very quickly, uh, you can't keep the particle systems working with, with the objects. And so uh, just like old motion control rigs when they were doing Star Wars and, and uh, you know, the, the older school okay. practical. Well, I don't know if you can see it really well here, but there are gaps in the geometry now, and if we go to the alpha channel, you should be able to see there, you can see gaps in the hull where the clip map has uh, broken through. If I turn that off, 